Hey friends, Knife Detector here, and guess what? I have another knife video for you. Now, it's been a long time coming for me to make a video on this dynamic duo right here. And no, this is not Batman. In fact, I'm using that, and probably if I knew another phrase from Tarzan, I would probably use that one, but the only one I know is, ah! that's the only one I really know from Batman, right? I mean, uh, Tarzan, right? But anyway, in any case, this is uh, from my knife hunting trip to Fredericksburg. To my family, it was a vacation, but to me, it was a knife hunting trip. And I saw this in a shop in downtown Fredericksburg. And in a previous video, I kind of gave you a glimpse of what it looked like in the case. And, um, you know, with the idea that I was going to have a full video on these later. So it's been a while, you know, it's been a couple months, you know, since my vacation. And I haven't even used these or carried these or nothing. And I thought, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's take a look at these. I have a lot of knives to do videos on, my friends. And every once in a while, you know, I do a video where I kind of just a quickie. I just give you a glimpse of all the upcoming knives. Well, you'll recognize this one from that one of those videos. But check out first off the price. Pay $25.99 for these, which I think for both of these knives together, I think that is a fair price. And this was in a shop. Now this is 100 years. I don't know if this is celebrating 100 years of the Novelty Knife Company or of Tarzan, but I have a feeling it's of Tarzan. So it comes in this case right here and it's just a regular, you know, cardboard case. And then what's nice is that right here on the outside of this case, it says Tarzan, it says Edgar Rice Burroughs Tarzan, 1912 to 2012. So yeah, I guess it's, it's a commemorative set of the movie Tarzan and it says up to 2012 because guess what that's right uh this apparently was made in 2011 but maybe they sold it in 2012 so this knife is already like uh what 10 11 years old something like that these two knives are and it's a nice little collector's box will i keep it in the collector's box you know i really should i really should keep it in the collector's box you know but the the, the user in me just wants to take these guys out and play with them. Let's look at the little guy first. Now, I'm not going to really measure these. You guys know what Barlow's look like, so I'm not really going to weigh these and measure them. But look at this beautiful plastic handle. I mean, the materials used are not fantastic. I mean, they're steel liners, but I mean, check this out. There's a little toy in here. You gotta try and put all those tiny little steel balls in the little holes. I mean, how's that for a way to pass the time when your wife is shopping and you just wanna scream like Tarzan? Oh, 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 oh. you just wanna swing from the vines or the chandeliers in the stores telling, hey, stop spending money, woman, or something like that. But you know, you can sit down on a park bench outside and you can just be playing this little game in your knife. And people will think you're crazy because you're just staring at a knife, staring at a knife. But they won't know that you're actually playing a little game. Look at that. Really cool. It says Heroes of the Silver Screen. So this is part of that series, I guess. And, uh, whoa, check out that unused blade. And here we have Novelty Knife Company China. Nothing there. I tell you what, this is just such a sweet knife to carry. I might end up just carrying this, guys. I mean, after all, that's what knives are made for, right? They're made to carry. So I might just carry this sucker. And we have the nice pin blade here. It's a good size pin blade. This is a good size knife. It's a good size Barlow. You know, I'm not a collector of Barlows. I think I only have one old used Barlow aside from this one. Um, but I really like the way this feels in my hand and the way this acrylic is. I mean, it just looks really super nice, super nice. I really like it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna end up carrying this. I will try and keep it together in the commemorative case set, but uh, no promises, because I really like it. And then, of course, we have the Master Barlow, and it even says right there, Master. Of course, it's hard to see the R because the, the pin is right there. So let's open this up. Whoa, it's tough to open this guy. Oh. Of course, Novelty Knife Company China, nothing on that side of the blade. This is tight, tight blade. Um, this is a big knife, you know, it's it's a granddaddy Barlow. You know, it's a big Barlow, master Barlow. It's a big knife, and this is really good, like if you're gonna cut some meat or something like that, I think this would make an excellent kitchen knife as well, or even a utility knife, whatever really the heck you wanna use it for. But when you have a knife with a handle so pretty as this, you know, it's just a really nice conversation piece. There you have Tarzan again. 
a bigger version. He's reaching for that vine and he's swinging. Ah, you know, there he goes. You know, pretty darn cool. Again, steel liners. Um, this one does not have the game, interestingly enough, uh, but it is a super duper cool knife, and I'm really liking this. Yeah, the thing about that family vacation, I ended up nearly or practically blew my wad on knives even before we got to Fredericksburg. I didn't make it out of San Antonio really practically without blowing my wad. It's just I found so many cool knives. I think some I've done videos on, some are upcoming videos on some of those knives. But I wanted to go ahead and already do a video on this one because I want to be carrying this guy already. Oh, I just want to put this thing in my pocket and have it with me. Maybe sharpen it a little bit, get it to where I like it. You know, uh, with my Easy Lap diamond rod that I use most of the time. Um, but the thing is, is, you know, for collectors, it's hard because you want to play with your toys. You want to use them, right? But you run the risk that when you're carrying your knife in your pocket and then it comes to where you actually need the knife you know so if you actually need the knife and the knife you have in your pocket just happens to be a knife you really like and you don't want to scratch up well then you're faced with a dilemma do i use what i have in my pocket you know some people carry two knives a user and one just to have I, to me that's never made sense if i have a knife in my pocket then golly gosh darn i am going to use it that's the one i'm going to use you know yesterday i had a gerber flat iron which i bought using i have a video coming up on that in my pocket and we went to a restaurant and uh, my daughter needed a knife to cut her burger. And out whips out my Gerber flat iron. And I noticed a couple of guys that were sitting a couple of tables behind me uh, kind of raise their eyebrow when I whipped it out, right? The knife, when I whipped out the knife, okay? So they raise their eyebrow like, oh my goodness, check out the cleaver that guy has, right? But in any case, look at that really, really lovely symbol right there. It's this nice box that really is just forcing me to leave this in here and to not mess with it. I mean, it's just really nice box. It's just telling me, hey, you know what? Why don't you just leave them in there, knife detector? Why don't you just not touch them? Why don't you just, you know, be a collector and leave them in the box and start collecting? It doesn't take up that much space, knife detector. It's really, really thin. And this is me trying to rationalize doing that. But no, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use it and uh, pull this bad boy out. Definitely have this in my pocket, more than likely tomorrow. It's just the little boy in me that has the hobby in his heart and loves to use what he has and carrying that in my pocket and when I'm feeling stressed out, put my hand in my pocket and then I feel this bad boy and I remember what I got. Well, you know what? Brings me just a little bit of joy. All right, my friends, this has been another video from The Knife Detector. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I am sneaking towards 2,000 subs, guys. I'm slowly sneaking towards 2,000. I think I'm at 1,700 and, I don't know, 60 or 70 or getting close to 80 or something like that. I very much appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I do have a giveaway every 500 subscribers, so guess what? There's another one coming up. So I think I might have some doozies in there as choices for my winner to pick from. All right, my friends, have a wonderful, wonderful uh, week up ahead, and uh, God bless you.